Hiya guys and happy new year. It is, well, it's the day after New Year's when I post this, but filming this on New Year's, so but we'll pretend like it's New Year's. <clears throat> yeah, back for another video. And this video is a little more chill. It's not very completely um, trans guy centric. Um, for me at least. I don't know about the other guys and their videos and takes on things. Um, I'm not sick anymore. It's mostly just my throat now, which is great. So, now that we started a new year, everyone generally has New Year's resolutions. I don't go by New Year's resolutions, but I do have goals in general. It's just, I, I started them on New Year's because that was the time, like, after all the consecutive holidays where I'm going to be eating a lot and one of them, one of the goals is weight loss. So, started on New Year's when nothing's coming soon. So, I guess, yeah. Anyways. I have, do have, some goals. Like I said before, weight loss is one of them. I heard that it's better for surgery, um, that if you weigh less and it's easier and there's less risk of complication. And so I want to lose a lot of weight for that so that's the easiest it can be. There's no complications <laughs> um, because I'm doing it in a very short um, time frame like I can't have any complications and if I do I'm mm -hmm. I'm, I'm kind of fucked to be honest <laughs> if I get some complications but I mean it has to work in accordance with like a bunch of other things um, in my life mostly school so another goal for 2018 is top surgery I mean there is no definitive thing, but since I'm getting it so early, I'm like calling in so early, my doctor said it might be easier to set like a specific date that I want to get top surgery because it's not gonna be like, it won't be as hard and it will be a lot easier and um, they'll have like a bunch of forewarning and I'll be able to talk to people which is exactly what I want um a general thing for like 2018 is like feeling and kind of becoming more male and that's like a thing that I have it's kind of like a mass dysphoria that I don't really feel it but once I like confront it it's like oh you there um and it's mostly that I <clears throat> don't look or feel masculine and it like really gets down on me and I feel like I'm an imposter and it, it feels bad. <laughs> um, yeah, y'all can probably relate. It's a common thing for most people before long of getting on tea, they feel kind of weird because they want to be this and they're this and they're like, but why? Um, another thing, being, another goal is to really, like, help other trans people. This is why I'm a part of this group and being able to hear people and being able to talk to people is to help them. I want to help as many people as possible and I want to make sure that they're okay and I want to be able to talk to them and give my insight and I want to have the other guys in this group to be able to give insight on basically everything <laughs> to give their own kind of take on it and um, yeah is why I joined this group. I want to help other trans people. I want to help other people realize their chance. I want to help other people 
you know, be themselves and be comfortable being themselves. Because this year, or this past year, like the end of it, has been very transphobic um, everywhere. I've seen a lot of transphobic posts recently. And I just want to educate people. And I think there are times when people, trans people, have to recognize it, the difference between a person who's never going to change and a person who wants to learn. And right now it's just ignorant. <laughs> I have many people in my life who weren't transphobic, but they're like, I don't fucking understand. Like, how, how do you get through this? Like, what is this? Like, I don't, I don't understand. And they couldn't connect to it. And because they couldn't connect to it, it made them hard, it made it harder for them. Even if I shut down, it didn't help them in any way. And it didn't help them understand in any way. They understood I was in pain, but they didn't understand what I was going through. And <clears throat> I think the best thing a person could do to anyone who needs it is to educate. To educate before you say, you know what? You're not trying to learn, you're just trying to hate me. Goodbye. Like, so I urge all of you out there, and I, I, I understand there are times when you don't want to educate, you don't want to talk to people about it, you just want to be, <laughs> I, I understand that feeling. Um, and I think it would be best to just tell those people, look, now's not the time tell me later like ask me later when I can give you a straightforward answer and I'm feeling better about this and you know all that kind of stuff because sometimes it's hard being reminded that you're trans and sometimes it's hard to remind yourself that you're not at the place where you feel like you physically should be and sometimes it's easy to deal with it sometimes it's like I can't talk to anybody about being trans because it makes me feel so dysphoric and so bad and yeah, I think the best thing you could do is just tell people, not right now, I'll talk to you later about it. And then educate them. And a time when you're feeling great and you're feeling like yourself and you're like, you know what, this is what it's like being trans. And educate them. Educate, educate, educate. Before anything. <laughs> before slander is used. Unless they're being like straight up like... You know what I mean. You saw those hand gestures. You, you know what I mean. I talk with my hands a lot. I'm sorry. Um, but, um, yeah. I think that's a part of my goal is to educate people who want to learn and to protect and help those other trans people in the world who feel like they can't be... They, they can't be what they are and that I want them to know it's okay it's, it's totally fine it's just a weird journey you have to go through and it might be long but it's worth it in the end it's worth it once you get to the point where you're happy and you're just like Whew. you know how that's that thing called gender euphoria I don't believe in that but like gender relief <laughs> um, where it's like Thank God. Ah. So, yeah. You, there will be a time, and that's what I keep on telling myself, and that was kind of my chant going into the new, new year. There will be a time when I'm happy with myself and when I'm happy with a bunch of things. <clears throat> and I would urge all of you, any of y'all who are watching this, please tell yourself whenever you need it, there will be a time when I'm happy. There will be a time when I'm happy. There is no ending or there is an ending to my suffering and it, not all parts of life can be the greatest not all parts of life can be what you want them to be but I think that you can do a lot with a positive mindset and a negative space and trust me, I know, not having, being able to get a positive mindset and a negative space. So if you need someone else to remind you, just ask them. 
um if you need me to remind you my links for my social media are down in the description literally message me just say i'm having a bad day <laughs> and i will respond with a full-on paragraph of why you're great because i do that for people so yeah i think um it's really good to hear positive things from other people sometimes because people always say don't care what other people think but sometimes what other people think and what you think are the only separation between being sad for a very long time and it sucks but it happens um so literally if any of you guys i'm sorry excuse the thumping um if any of you guys feel unhappy or just need to pick me up message me on my social media message me i will probably get back to you within a day or two i'm always on social media and i rarely get off social media of course i am binge watching game of thrones right now <laughs> I'm binge watching Game of Thrones. I'm on season four. I started two days ago. Know what I mean? Yeah. So, I might be binge watching Game of Thrones, but when I'm not binge watching Game of Thrones, I will come back to my social media and tell you hello and that you're great and beautiful and intelligent and you are so much more than you th feel like you are now. So, probably cut most of this out because I'm just a little joyful nerd. Okay. <laughs> well, um, have a nice day. Remember that you are a great thing in the world. And remember that people love you and that people care about you. And this is the new year, a new time to start something new be something new and work towards things that you feel like you couldn't work towards because a little bit goes a long way. Bye-bye!